Hey, how's your day? With the advent of AI in Photoshop, it's getting easier and easier to remove objects from photographs. But are the results desirable? I'll show you five common methods on how to remove things, and then I'll show you my two preferred methods, which look good and are accurate. All right, we got this great picture of these boys, and the two things that I want to remove from this photograph are one and two. The first thing we'll do is try the spot healing brush. So we'll copy the layer and then make a new layer for it. We'll call it removals. All right, so let's go over here and grab our spot healing brush and just kind of go over it, see what it does. Let's go over here, same thing, and what a mess. Both places are just a mess. So let's undo that. Now let's go to the patch tool. So we'll go back over here to the patch tool and make a selection around it, and we'll kind of move it to something we'd like to replace it with. Deselect, and once again, it's a mess. It's blurred out and doesn't even look like it should be there. So let's undo that. Now let's do the content aware move tool. So we'll grab this, kind of move it over here. Now what you can do is transform it and make it smaller and maybe grab this section here check mark and what's over here it's a mess again so let's undo deselect okay the next selection that i want to do is we'll make a selection around it with your lasso tool now unfortunately you cannot do it on a blank layer so let's go to layer one here right click and go delete and fill selection and what a mess again it's just not happening so now let's go to Content Aware Fill. So what we'll do is we'll make a selection, go to Edit, Content Aware Fill, and in here it looks like it's removed it, but it's still over and it's a mess. Try the mirror. No, that's not good. And you can see the blurriness and the inconsistency of what it put back. So let's get out of here, cancel, deselect. I'd just like to remind everybody to please like and subscribe, ring my bell for all future videos coming up. You won't break a nail. All right, here's my two favorite methods of removing something from a photograph and the settings that I use. First thing we'll do, we'll make a new layer and we'll call it left. Make another new layer and we'll call it right. I like to separate everything. So let's click on our left layer here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is the clone stamp tool, the old favorite. Let's go over here and select clone stamp tool. Now the best way to do it is to find something that's nearby but not right next to it to avoid patterns and stuff. Now the best way to do that is go up top here to your ruler, drag down a ruler kind of to the bottom of where the object is. Now, my settings are opacity 100% and flow about 10%. So let's make your selection. Just go over what we need to go over. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just stay within that line of where you are and bam, removed and it's great. All right, let's leave our ruler there and work on this second one. So let's choose the right layer and make your selection. Just remove what we need to remove. No more and no less. Make a selection again. And let's just remove what we want here. Now, over on the other side, let's attack it from both sides. Make your selection, just remove what we need. You don't need to go crazy with this. And both sections are removed. Now, a little bit of cleanup. Make your cursor a little bit larger. Just kind of go over it a bit. There you go. If you want to clean it up even more, let's go over here. And just throw it in there. Looking good. All right, here's a quick tip for the ruler. Make sure that your rulers are up here. If it, they aren't, hit Control R, and that'll put them there. Now drag down from the top, and you can put a ruler and kind of gauge of where you want to do your cloning from. Now to get rid of the ruler, hold your Control button down, hover over it, and bring it back up again. Done. All right, for my second preferred method, we're gonna use the good old healing brush tool, except we're gonna make one change. We're gonna change it from normal to replace. Now, let's measure up how big it is here with your cursor. Go over the opposite side, make your choice, and just go over it. Just a bit, that's all you need to do. Now, do the same thing, choose the right layer, make your cursor a little bit smaller, grab something from over here, just a bit. Now, do the same thing for over here, just a little bit. Let's attack it from both sides. From over here. 
and done. Now, if you want to clean up a bit, grab a bit of dirt here and clean up. But the cool thing I like to do is put both layers in a group. Let's just call it repairs and we'll make it a smart object. So you can go up to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Make sure the pixels are roughly about 2.0 and hit OK. Before, after, before, after. Things are looking good. Well, I hope these tips uh, helped you and give you a hand in your Photoshop work. I'm Don from Photo 911. I'll see you soon.